How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and in today's tutorial, tutorial number two or tutorial number three, that's a mistake, tutorial number three in my Lambda Expressions in Java 8 tutorials, we're going to be going over filtering. So we are finally getting into actually using some Lambda Expressions in Java 8. So this tutorial is all about filtering and we'll be going over passing in a lambda expression in the filter method as well as using predicates. So, let's get started. Now, if you watch the first video where we did the setup, I created this package called lambda expressions and I had created this file called uh, filtering.java. Doesn't matter what you name it. Um, and all I've done since then is create a list called nums, add these four random numbers to it, and yeah, that's all I've done so far. So, Java 7 and Java 6, really all previous versions, this is what you would have had to do. Um, to uh, get all the even numbers in the uh, list. So, we are going to do nums. Actually, we're, gonna, we're not going to do that. We're going to create a new array list. I'm not going to... Um, ruin this list. I want to be able to use it for the lambda expression as well. So we're going to create a new list called list and make it type integers in there. And we're going to call this filtered and set this equal to a new array list with types integers in there. Alright, so Starting with the old way of doing this, what you would have had to do in Java 7 or Java 6, a for loop, so create a for loop, and for integer, um, integer i in nums. This is the for loop, so you'd have to iterate through a for loop, and what we are going to do is find out which of these numbers are even. So we want to end up with a 2 and a 10 in this list here called filtered. So what you would do then is create an if statement. And in there, if i mod 2 equals equals 0. So that means when you do integer division of Java by 2, um, there's no remainder. So it can be divided by, i can be divided by 2 by whole, which is the definition of an even number. So then what we would do is filtered dot add i. And um, that right there, just to count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 lines of code. All right. And now we're just going to output the list. There. Oops, forgot a T. Alright, so we're going to run this just to make sure it works. And it did what we wanted it to. It went through the entire list and it ended up with a 2 and a 10. Two even numbers. So that is how you would have done it in Java 7 or 6. Now we're going to get into using Lambda expressions. So with collections of data, um, when we want to use lambda expressions on all of them, what we have to do is stream the uh, source. So this is getting into pipelines a little. Basically, nums is going to be our source of the pipeline. You stream it, and the stream goes through the pipeline, and there are what you call intermediate operations which keep producing stream results. So it's going to be new stream after new stream after new stream. The final operation which either gives you a new data type or performs some sort of action, that's known as your terminal operation which is your last operation of the stream. So that's what a pipeline is. You can look that up on uh, Oracle's documentation if you want to read their full explanation. 
what we're going to do is we're creating a new list here and we are putting type integer in there and we're going to call this filtered to alright so what we're going to do is we're taking nums this list here with our four numbers in it put a period and then stream and now we have a stream of nums so a pipeline with all four numbers going through it and then what this tutorial is all about is filtering so we're going to use the filter method and we are going to put a lambda expression in here so as our parameters we are going to put x just a random variable name but one thing I'm going to mention now for like single parameters you don't need the quote or the brackets so I'm just going to get rid of those if we had multiple parameters use them but since we only have the one parameter which is x we are just going to forget the brackets so x then our arrow token and then x mod 2 equals equals 0 alright and now from there we have to put it into a list um, so at this point we still have a stream result so it takes the original stream it's gonna create a new stream with just the filtered results but now we have to return it to a list so we're gonna go to import java dot I believe it's in util dot no it's not in util oh java dot stream maybe Java dot util. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember it. Dot. It's in the stream one. Yeah. Java dot util dot stream dot collectors. There it is. All right. Sorry that took so long. And now, to get this back into a list, we're gonna dot collect collectors. So the package we just imported dot to list. And there is the expression. So we're gonna do the exact same thing except we're gonna print out filtered to. And now we're gonna run the file. So there we go. Equal result, but as you see, this one took five lines of code if you include the curly braces, whereas this one, all done in one line of code. Might seem like a lot to remember, but it's once you've done it a couple times, it's really simple to remember. So that is filtering using a lambda expression here. Now we're going to use a predicate. So to do that, import java dot oops java dot util dot function dot predicate so that's what we're going to use so we're going to predicate now between these greater than less than signs you have to put in what type of data is going to be passed into the predicate in this case an integer so we'll put that in there we're going to call this uh, even I guess yeah we'll call that even and we'll set this equal to and then here's where we're going to put the lambda expression there put brackets around my parameters put brackets around the expression finish with a semicolon so now instead of the filter we're just gonna pass in here even and we're gonna run the file and it should give us the exact same results as before there you go so in this tutorial you've learned how to filter using a lambda expression in this 
as well as a predicate. Also went over streaming and pipelines a little, and then the collectors class to uh, create a list at the end of your Lambda expression. So when I brought up pipelines, this is your this is the source of the pipeline. It gets streamed through the pipeline. The first intermediate operation is the filter one, which creates another stream. And then the terminal operation is the collect one, which creates a non-stream result. In this case, it created a list. So thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next tutorial.